Tonight we catch up with a pair of Kettering educators who've generated a lot of buzz through a generous donation. This is such a great story. They're now linked for life after a successful kidney donation. Holly Samuels is live with the post-surgery interview you'll see only on two. Many of you have been asking about their progress. I can tell you that today is Toby Bodecker's first full day at home, less than two weeks after he received a new kidney from his newfound friend, Christine Fine. They work together in the same building for the Kettering School District, District, and as we told you a couple of weeks ago, before this, they barely even knew each other. No more chills, no more exhaustion. Once he's fully healed, Toby Bodecker might even forget for a moment his five-year battle with kidney disease. Now he's got a new kidney he can call his own. Or tink, as we call it. <laughs> it either stands for tinkle or tinkerbell. You, you can pick. But. Tink, the name Bodecker and donor Christine Fine gave the new kidney, actually beat out others, like urine. They have kept things lighthearted despite the amazing decision that's linked them for life. And I got a little piece of Christine for the rest of my life. So it's a good thing we like each other. <laughs> the cartridge would hang on here like that. Bodecker will soon say goodbye to the dialysis machine he was forced to hook to each night. I won't miss it, but I'm glad I had it. But he and Christine have both gained something else. Our families are friends. Uh, and, you know, it's, it's something that this is a lifelong thing now. I feel like I really can't put it into words. <laughs> it wasn't the easiest thing to do, but it was one of the most rewarding things that I've done in my life. You know, if I had it to do over again, I would do it again, you know. So I hope I get 20 years out of Tink, but, you know, <laughs> you know I, I feel like I got the whole package. You know, and I, I just um, I'm thankful. And Toby and Christine both wanted to thank everyone for their support and concern. Toby's family has put together a website where they, along with Christine, have shared their journey. There's a link on our website, WDTN.com. Just click on web links. More than 4,000 people have already responded. Reporting live, Holly Samuels, 2 News on your side.